A brief biography of founder of homeopathy. Dr. Samuel Hahnemann. Presented by Dr. Homeopathic. His full name was Christian Friedrich Samuel Hahnemann. Hahnemann was born on 10 April 1755, midnight of 10 April 1755, at Corner House, Eckhorst, Meissen, Saxony. He was the third child of his mother, and Gottfried Hahnemann. His grandfather was Christoph Hahnemann. Father name was Christian Gottfried Hahnemann. Father's first wife, Johanna Eleanor Direns. And Hahnemann's mother was Johanna Christian Spasen. Hahnemann's father was a painter and designer of porcelain. He published a book on watercolor painting. Hahnemann got his primary education from his parents. He was an intelligent and curious boy. He developed a special interest in languages and became proficient in a number of languages, including English, French, Italian, Greek, and Latin. He got admission in Afra Prince's town school of Meissen. He was a good student and performed well at school. Then he got admission in Princess's school at Meissen. In 1775, he started to study medicine for two years at University of Leipzig. He then moved to Vienna in Austria to further his education. He studied and practiced at the Hospital of Brothers of Mercy, where the prominent physician, Dr. von Quarren, took him under his wing and mentored him. Throughout his medical studies, Hahnemann struggled with financial issues. He eventually completed his MD from the Erlangen University in 1779. His thesis was titled, A Dissertation on the Causes and Treatment of Cramp. In 17 November 1782, Samuel Hahnemann married Johanna Henriette Kutchler. Theirs was a happy marriage that produced 11 children. Hahnemann fondly called his wife, Alice. Hahnemann began his practice at Hetstead. Samuel Hahnemann found appointment as a village doctor in 1781 in Mansfield, Saxony. Over the ensuing years, he practiced at a few more places and settled in Dresden in 1784. Before moving to Leipzig in 1780. During that era, medical practice was fraught with superstitions and illogical methods of treatment. This greatly disturbed the young doctor, who soon became disillusioned with his profession. He believed that the common modes of treatment like purgatives, bloodletting, and emetics, etc., caused more harm than good to the patients. Thus, he abandoned his medical practice. After giving up his practice, he began working as a translator of scientific and medical textbooks. In 1790, while translating William Cullen's A Treatise on the Materia Medica into German, he was dissatisfied with the book's explanation of why the Peruvian bark, cinchona, is useful in treating malaria. This prompted Samuel Hahnemann to conduct his own experiments using cinchona. He took repeated doses of Peruvian bark himself, which led him to suffer from fever, chills, and other symptoms similar to malaria. He thus concluded that cinchona was useful for treating malaria as it caused similar to those of the disease it was treating. The experiments led him to the observation that similia, similibus, curenture, lights, are cured by lights. He thus postulated that diseases are cured by those drugs that produce in healthy persons symptoms similar to the diseases. After conducting further experiments to prove his theory, he published his principles in a paper in 1796. Over the following years, he published several other essays on the topic and in 1810 he published The Organon of the Healing Art in which he laid out the doctrine of his ideas of a system of alternative medicine which he named homeopathy. In 1811, he was given a professorship at the University of Leipzig. Between 1811 and 1821, 
He published six volumes of his Doctrine of Pure Medicine. In 1821, he moved to Kooten, where he was appointed as a physician to Duke Ferdinand of Anhalt Kooten. In 1828, he published his work Chronic Diseases in five volumes. 31 March 1830, after 48 years of marriage, his first wife, Johanna, died. Shortly after, he met a French woman, Marie, Melanie, Derville, and moved to Paris with her. They got married, in 18 January 1835. He was 80, and married 35, at the time, of their marriage. On 2 July 1843, 5 a.m. At the age of 88, Hanuman died. This is all about Hanuman. The father of homeopathy. Hope, you like my video. Also subscribe my channel. So you can watch other videos of my channel.